Hi folks, it's Doc's Market Minute for Thursday, November 12th. I'm recording this about five minutes before the cash market opens. We've got a pretty healthy move to the downside. We're down about 12 handles on the S&Ps. I'm looking at the futures contracts right now. So looking at a daily, weekly, and monthly chart on the S&P futures, so the ES or the E-minis right now. So you can see we're down about 12 handles, but really this is no big deal. We're not even down to the 23.6 retracement of this entire 250 point move. So we have not broken trend yet. What's important at this point is what happens from here. Again, the, the price can probably come down quite a bit here, even to the 38.2 retracement. And as long as we don't end up putting in from whatever bounce comes after this, is as long as we don't put in a lower high, because what's going to happen with a lower high, and especially if it confirms with a lower low here, is that's going to start pulling down the weekly chart. Now, that's not a downtrend yet. That's not a downtrend on the weekly chart until it, too, puts in a lower high and then a lower low. But either way, this is something that we're going to have to watch. What I've talked about for some time now is what happens at the end of this fourth quarter rally, whether or not we consolidate here, break out to the upside, or consolidate, break out to the downside, is going to really set the tone for not only the end of the year, but I think the beginning of 2016. Now, let me go over to the cash index for a second here because it uh, handles history a little bit better. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that 2011 time frame that we had because this correction that we've had recently since August has been almost I wouldn't say a carbon copy but it, it's as close to it's close to seeing a lightning strike in the same place as we are going to see again more than the 200 point move higher with a parabolic finish to it and you can see that this one came down almost to the 38.2 retracement we had a couple of very strong days to the downside once that was over and you can see that what happened from there was a triangle pattern. It took about three weeks for this triangle pattern to finally break to the downside, come all the way down to the 61.8% retracement, and then start working itself higher from here. So again, what we always talk about is tops are a very complex affair. Bottoms are an event. You can see the bottom here was an event. Tops were very complex. Okay, so going back to today, and I want to finish this up here in the next minute or so before Janet Yellett starts speaking and uh, pushing around the market. Of course, everybody's going to be holding their breath to see what she's going to say and about you know what tea leaves are, are next in the future for us. But the thing to keep in mind is keep perspective here. The price is only down to the 23.6. It can fully drop to the 20 or the 38.2. And still not be a problem. I mean, technically, we can drop all the way to the 61.8% retracement. The further down that we drop, the more likely it is that we're going to see that lower high. So watch this carefully. What I've always been talking about here is that we're going to have some form of consolidation. And what's a little surprising to me is that we've already seen with this pullback, we've already seen the daily fractal rebuild its energy and is ready for the next trend. Is that trend going to be to the upside or to the downside? We don't know at this point, so this is why we need to frame in this price action here and just follow along with it whether or not it breaks out to the upside or that energy starts to come to the downside. That's it for today's Market Minute. Thanks for listening, folks. See you tomorrow.